हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम फॉर टूडे सेशन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एडवांटेजेस अ बिजनेस मे हैव बाई गोइंग इन इंटरनेशनल दो देर आर मैनी एडवांटेजेस बिजनेस मे हैव इन इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस बट स्टिल अ बिजनेस हैज ऑल्सो बिजनेस ऑल्सो हैव टू फेस सर्टेन प्रॉब्लम्स सर्टेन रिस्क if they go in international so today we will going to discuss those problems that business might face if they go for an international business among this the first and major limitations of international business is a political factor generally a political factor is one of the biggest uh, issue that a business is facing uh, it includes the political instability in a country where business want to operate further uh, the war uh, civil war within the country the war between uh, two countries uh, uh, relation of a country with the neighborhood countries etc this all this all uh, problem create major limitations for any business generally business wants to operate in such a countries where political factors are favorable as well as where the political institutions are constant it means no frequent changes in government as well as no frequent changes in policy that is called as political stability if in a country the political instability is there or there is very less stability uh, uh, this will create a problem for a business and hence business generally in international business a different country has different political environment and due to this it creates a major risk now the next is huge foreign indebtedness generally it is believed that the developing countries with uh, developing countries has a very less purchasing power and that will ultimately uh, uh, lead to the uh, operations of uh, they they need to invite the mnc's in their country and due to uh, the mnc's operating in a the country they are generally uh, trapped down into the uh, foreign indebtedness so uh, uh, when uh, it it is coming for international business it will create a huge problem in terms of foreign indebtedness a country need to depend Uh, very high on foreign uh, reserves as well as foreign currency the foreign currency inflow the next point is exchange instability A different country has different currencies and uh, this currencies are dynamic in nature the value of currency is frequently changing now many factors that directly affect to the exchange rate is uh, balance of payment political uh, stability and instability the foreign indebtedness the country's economic condition all this thing directly affect to the exchange rate of domestic currency in relation with the other foreign currency say for example the domestic currency is indian rupees and its value in terms of dollar euro etc if this currency rate is fluctuating or the home currency is depreciating continuously it will create a pressure and it will discourage the growth of international business as the majority importers or the mnc's facing loss in such cases and that is why they do not want to go in such a countries where the exchange rates are highly unstable or fluctuating on a um, uh, large scale basis the next is entry requirement generally to protect the domestic market from foreign currencies from mncs the domestic government impose certain entry requirement and those entry requirement need to fulfill by multinational corporations say for example in india if any foreign insurance company wants to come and wants to start their business compulsorily they need to make a joint venture with indian company they cannot solely operate their business in india further in this joint venture their share should not be more than 49% so such entry requirements may be there uh, put it by many government particularly in developing countries to protect the 
domestic market and domestic companies. So, such entry requirement if such entry requirement is very high, very tough and rigid then it will discourage the international business. The next is tariff, quotas and trade barriers. Tariff means various type of taxes levied by government to regulate import as well as export while the quotas are quantitative barriers, quantitative limitations. So, tariff and quotas ultimately create trade barriers. It will ultimately decrease, stop the uh, trade between two countries. Again, the government is imposing various uh, tariff import export quotas uh, excise duty import duty custom duty etc to protect the domestic business if the country having uh, if the country is having huge amount of uh, such tariff and quotas restriction it will ultimately lead to the decrease in international business a country like india where such type of taxes are very high so it, it will restrict the foreign companies to enter into India. Now, the next point is corruption. Generally, many uh, uh, developing countries are facing the similar problem. The corruption is one of the uh, kind of phenomena that is prevailing in many countries. Uh, a higher rate of bribe, uh, many uh, uh, license requirement uh, and many kind of document requirement ultimately le uh, lead to uh, very very less growth of international business generally companies do not want to go in such a countries where the rate of corruption is very high so a high amount of corruption may stop the international companies may stop the mncs to enter into our country then the bureaucratic practices of government bureaucratic in the sense a rigid and a very old style practices of government if the government attitude towards the business is not positive if the government attitude towards the business is negative government is generally do not granting permission government is asking for license they are uh, government is getting delayed in providing uh, various type of sanction clearance etc so this all ultimately lead to demotivate the foreign companies to enter into india say for example before 1991 before the introduction of liberalization policy introduced in our country uh, india is considered as one of the very rigid country to do a business so in such a countries multinational companies or foreign companies do not want to enter because they need to face uh, very uh, they need to face a problem uh, frequently the frequency of problem uh, government restriction and problems are very high in such a countries so they do not want to come many developing countries are facing such a problem and ultimately it will lead to decrease in international business Another important factor which uh, create a problem, which create a limitation for international business is technological pirating. Many developing countries are such where the technological pirating rate is very high. Example, China, India, etc. and many Asian countries. So, where the technological pirating rate is high, in such countries, a technology which is newly introduced can get easily copied so so this will ultimately uh, create the problem for the company which has originally invented such product so imitate where in a country where the imitation rate imitation it means making a copy without the consent without the permission of the original company so where the where such rate of imitation is very high at, at that time the companies do not want to enter in such a countries as the company may face loss in our short run, in a short run the next is quality maintenance <clears throat> uh, as compared to domestic com uh, domestic business international companies need to maintain a high quality level and they need to maintain this high quality level on a continuous basis 
so the requ uh, the companies are in a continuous pressure to provide a good quality product if such a if any company or if any country fails to pro uh, match with such a standard then uh, they may face a rejection from the buyer and they may it may turn into losses so uh, further to produce a good quality product they also need a good quality raw material good quality machineries a huge amount of finance as well as good quality human resource so ultimately this all may create certain amount of restriction for a business to enter into international business and the last problem generally faced by many countries is the high cost the high cost of transportation uh, technological upgradation finding a good quality human resource product improvement market share market survey this all ultimately lead to a very huge amount of cost say for example if any indian company wants to introduce their product in america then firstly they need to identify the taste and preference of the people in america and to find out such taste and preference they need to make a market survey in america now doing a market survey in india and doing a market survey in america is altogether a very different thing and hence ultimately it will create it will increase the cost as well as it will increase the risk risk of failure and hence many business houses do not uh, in re getting ready to enter into international business due to all these things so these are the few uh, problems that may a company face if they want to enter into international business so that is all about today's session have a nice day goodbye